and welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd uh, wrap up the Robo Linux um, evaluation. Uh, I had reviewed Ro Robo Linux <coughs> probably about a week ago or so and um, I thought it was a uh, <coughs> nice little Debian distribution and I believe I paid two dollars and 37 cents uh, to download the installer it is not the robo Linux is not a hundred percent free you can try it for free but if you want to install it to your hard drive you have to pay uh, a small fee <clears throat> for the installer and so I installed it and I thought it was um, a very nice Debian distribution everything worked well out of the box um, and I kept it around <coughs> <clears throat> only because I wanted to test out the uh, Windows uh, VirtualBox installer. So I've had a chance to take a look at that. Now, I'll review that briefly with you. I did do the install, and uh, basically, it <clears throat> in the menu, you'll see a Stealth VM, and basically, you click on Robo Linux Stealth VM installer. Um, once you click on that, <clears throat> it basically tells you that you, uh, in order to use this feature, you have to pay another $9.95, I believe, for the VM installer. Now, <clears throat> because I wanted to do the analysis, I went ahead and paid for that installation now what it does is once you pay they give you the ability to download two files you see this of uh, uh, stealth VM installer once you pay the 995 they give you the uh, ability to download this file and then you extract it into your downloads folder and it creates this folder here those two folders have to be in your downloads folder in order to complete the Windows installation. So let's take a look at um, basically when you when you do the install uh, let's see let's see if I can find the um, the installer Well, basically it takes you to a YouTube. It takes you to their website, which has a small YouTube video uh, that walks you through the installation. Now, I will say that it's useful if you're not 100% familiar with Oracle's VirtualBox. Um, the VM, basically what happens is once you have those files in your downloads folder, and then you come in here into Stealth VM and you click on your version of Windows. All you have to do is either, uh, in my case, I uh, put my Windows 7 DVD into my DVD drive. And it basically sets up the Oracle VirtualBox. Uh, it creates all of the settings and that's what basically Robo Linux Stealth VM installer does. It, it configures all of the settings within VirtualBox so that you can install Windows off of your either ISO or your DVD. Now, um, so basically that $10 uh, provides uh, uh, an easy configuration of VirtualBox if you're not familiar with VirtualBox, that can be very helpful. So it might be worth paying the $10. Uh, in my case, I paid the $10 so I could do an evaluation of the installer. Now, uh, between the installer itself, which sets up VirtualBox, it configures all the settings, except for a couple. You still have to go ahead and that's why it's important if you do do this um, you want to 
work through the Windows install while watching Robo Linux's um, video, and they they basically point you right at that. So it's a it, it guides you through. And there's a couple of things that it doesn't configure that you'll wanna pay special attention to while you're watching the video. In my case, and I think in most cases, um, there's no need to spend the $10. Just, just load up VirtualBox and install your Windows um, so that way you can um, get through it without the benefit of Robo Linux's VM installer, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And there are so many videos on YouTube that walk you through how to set up VirtualBox that this for most people there's probably no need to spend the ten dollars. But anyway, I did, and basically, as I said, it, it sets up VirtualBox with all the settings. It doesn't do the pass-through on the uh, DVD, which um, is important, but um, it walks you through it on the video, so it's not something that you're going to miss as long as you watch their video. Uh, the end result was that I <coughs> followed through on the um, install, set up VirtualBox, and installed Windows 7 from my disk. And let's see if we can pull that up. So there it is. You can see Windows 7. I'm going to start it. It's going to restore the virtual machine settings. <coughs> and there is my Windows 7 install. Now, um, this is useful uh, to a point. Um, you're not going to be able to play 3D games on this because you have to allow the installer, the, you, have, you have to allow VirtualBox to utilize some of your RAM. Now in this case I have 8 gigs of RAM on this machine so I, I gave 4 gigs to, uh, to Windows <clears throat> in the VirtualBox. So it, um, you know, it, 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 it will run Windows for you. Um, it'll probably do a good job with Word and Excel and things like that but if you're gonna um, do video rendering or um, if you're gonna try to play 3D games you're gonna have a heck of a time it won't do it so um, but for everyday word processing Excel um, email uh, internet uh, it'll it'll do the job for you. So now with now with uh, Windows being in the virtual box um, and getting through that install process, uh, I'd have to say that Robo Linux, while it is a good uh, Debian distribution. Um, I paid a total of about $13 and they do add a lot of uh, functionality and uh, things that they've done to the um, distribution that you know would not uh, run of the mill however whether it's worth $13 or not I'm not sure you'd have to make that decision for yourself <clears throat> now, right now, I have two Debian distributions on my hard drive. I have Robo Linux, which is also running this Windows 7 virtual box, and I have uh, another Debian distribution that was recommended to me, um, and I won't give you the name of that, but, but I'm going to do a review on it. Um, be out tomorrow I believe so I'm going to do a review of another des uh, Debian distribution and um, so as it stands now <clears throat> um, my recommendation on Robo Linux is 
uh, it would be fine if you wanted to download it take a look at it the free version and then um, I do believe it's worth paying the two dollars and thirty seven cents for the installer but I would not pay the ten dollars for the uh, Windows for the virtual box installer it's just not worth the ten dollars uh, do it on your own uh, virt uh, Oracle Virtual Box is free. There are plenty of vid videos online on YouTube that will walk you through it. So guys, that is it for Robo Linux. Um, again, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care, guys.